Walk us through what is happening in shale. Um, where are we in, in that longer term cycle of development, uh, the, uh, ex ex the expansion of the shale well, industry? Well, I, in I the think United people States. say that we're in um, inning three or any, inning four. I mean, this is still a relatively new technology. Uh, it's, you know, 2008, it wasn't there. Then we had this increase in U.S. production that was greater, just the increase, John, was greater than the production of every single OPEC country except Saudi Arabia. So it yeah. happened really fast. And I think we're now in shale 2.0, where people are really, have re-engineered, done reprocesses, found out how to be more efficient, and they're helped by the fact that costs are much lower. So, but the one area of the country, uh, we had our, our conference in Houston a few months ago, and everybody talks this about- This is your big energy yeah, conference you have yeah, every year. And people talk about the Permian Basin in Texas and uh, in New Mexico, and it was like Permania. Uh, that's all people really wanted to talk about, uh -huh. and you see, this huge amount of investment that used to kind of go overseas and other places is now sort of going into this kind of concentrated area in the United States. Yeah, but that sounds good to me. Is there a reason well, to be it's, it's, hesitant Well, it's changed the position. And, you know, we don't think about it so much in the United States, but you go to Asia, you go to Europe, you go to the Middle East, they realize the position of the world, the U.S. and the world is different today because of this change in our energy position. Among other things, the sanctions on Iran would not have worked had it not been for shale, because you could not have replaced the Iranian oil that was taken People off the People needed the energy from someplace, yeah. and they got it from the United and States. And so now, instead of just OPEC and non-OPEC, you have the big three. You have Saudi Arabia, you have Russia, and you have a country called the United States. Yeah, and it's not just oil, it's gas. It's gas, well, we're, you know, very striking. Uh, the first shipment of U.S. LNG went through the Panama Canal and arrived in China near Shanghai last January, and here's now China buying natural gas from us. Right. Uh, so uh, the U.S. is also going to be one of the big three LNG exporters in the world as well. Not a bad thing. Could get Western Europe well, off of uh, Gazprom's uh, dependence well, on what the it Russians. Well, it, it means Gazprom will still be a big player there, but it means there's alternatives, there's competition. And the, as some of the companies here know, the supply chains, there are millions of jobs actually that have resulted from this shale revolution in the United States. Yeah.